Hi everybody, this is Miss Sandra from the Porter County Public Library System. So if you're anything like me, you are missing sports right now. Basketball ended abruptly, baseball we barely even got to see preseason. Fingers crossed we get an NFL season. In the meantime, I know a lot of sports fans are getting their fix by watching the new 10 episode miniseries, The Last Dance, which follows the 1997 to 1998 Chicago Bulls winning year, their last, their last win with the dynasty. So I am going to invite you today to celebrate your Chicago Bulls enthusiasm by making a Chicago Bulls craft. It, I call it a picture frame clipboard kind of craft. Just like this, you can clip your pictures onto here. So what you'll need for this craft, you'll need paint. So we've got red, black, white, and orange paints. You need a paintbrush. You'll need scissors to cut cardboard. So you'll need a piece of cardboard. My piece of cardboard is measured at 19 inches long. If you don't have cardboard that big, that's fine. You can use whatever size works for you. You you will need some string, some jute, you'll need four clothes pins, and a sharpie marker. You'll need a printout of the Chicago Bulls logo. If you don't have a printer though to print it out, fear not. I will tell you about an alternative that you can use for that part. So, and you'll need a glue gun too to glue the string on the back of your cardboard. So the first thing you'll want to do is cut out your cardboard, trim it up, make it look super nice, grab a good pair of scissors, cut it out. Then you'll want to paint your cardboard in two thirds. So top part white, middle part red, bottom part black. Go ahead, let it dry. Pretend I just painted it, we'll let it dry. <laughs> and Step three would be to paint your four clothespins orange. So we're painting our clothespins orange. We'll put them to the side, let them dry. After that, we are going to transfer the Chicago Bulls logo onto the cardboard. So we'll pretend time has passed and your paint has dried. So what you'll do is you'll take your Chicago Bulls logo, you will place it to your liking, kind of in the center of the white paint there, and you will poke holes wherever there is a black line here. Poke, poke, poke. Goes through the cardboard. It should make some holes on your cardboard just like that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you'll do that. And I even did it on this piece of paper here. And then after you poke holes, you will connect the dots and you can use your black Sharpie marker. We'll pretend this is the white portion on your artwork. So pretend this is here. So what you'll do is you'll connect the lines where where it's really dark black on your bull's logo you'll really want to emphasize that with your sharpie so his his mean eyebrows you'll want to go ahead and make that really dark you can always freestyle the nostril and the little lines up above on his on his head there so that's the next step and if you don't have a printer or if that's just way too complicated, you can just go ahead and write the word Chicago Bulls up on the white part, or you can even just leave it like this. This represents all, all of the Chicago Bulls colors the way it is. So then let's say you've connected all the lines. You'll go ahead and paint your bowl in. So you'll paint them red where he's red and black. You could just actually paint right over the black with the red. 
That's what I did on mine. That's fine. And of course you can leave his horns white because because you're you're doing it on the white paint anyway. So you don't have to mess with the horns. Um, so after that, you should have, you should look something like that. It's all just tracing. <laughs> and then you will want to take your clothes pins. They should be dry now. And you'll want to draw one little arching line and then three smaller lines right through the long arching line to create a basketball. Or you could always put, if you have a certain player that is your favorite, you can write like 23 on here to represent Michael Jordan or something like that. You don't have to do the basketball. You can even leave it, leave it just orange if you want to. So after that, you will glue your string on the back and ta-da, you have your very own Chicago Bulls artwork piece. You can, you can clip photos to it. You can clip chores to it. You can, you can make it a scoreboard. Chicago Bulls score on this side. Visitor on this side. Have fun with it. Be creative. It's awesome. So hopefully we get some sports soon again. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. And be sure to subscribe to the Porter County Public Library System YouTube channel for updates on more fun crafts like this one. Thank you. Bye.